If you are a user of the software Project Complete Planning, you can import these projects in Clipix Engineer just by opening the local KLP project file. The project is then upgraded for use in Clipix Engineer. You can also import projects created in the software Clip Project Planning this way. Click on the Phoenix contact logo in upper left corner to enter the backstage area. Click on Open and select your project file. After loading, all of your required articles are displayed. The project tree on the left shows the mounting device contained in the project together with the mounted equipment. The project itself is the root element of the tree. Below the root, each inserted mounting device, plate or rail, is represented by a parent tree node and subnodes for individual equipment. Each time a new mounting device or equipment is added, the corresponding node is automatically added to the tree. The checkbox toggles the display of the mounting rails plates in the workspace view. This way you can either get an overview of the whole project or have a detailed display of single elements. The workspace in the middle is the actual editing area. It shows the graphical representation of the mounting device that are selected for display in the project tree, in plain perspective or in 3D. The pointer can be used for selection. Here you can turn on the rotation. The button turns green when selected. Hold down the left mouse button and moving the pointer will rotate the direction. Next to the rotation button you can choose between different views. Front, top, rear and furthermore. For faster editing of your terminal strips, just open the radial menu with right click. The radial menu is a type of context menu where the functions that you can call are placed in a circle. These are the first steps to start up or continue the planning of your control cabinet project. If you are curious about the further functions of the engineering software Clipix Engineer, then do not miss the next videos.